Welcome to my channel's Striker 24x7. If you like my YouTube videos then subscribe, click the bell icon, like, comment, and share. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to configure the Dinstar GSM Gateway and VC Dial, Asterisk, Free PBX Systems. Here's the step to be followed. Step 1, Dinstar Network Settings Configuration. Step 2, Dinstar SIP Server and SIP Trunk Settings. Step 3, Dinstar GSM Port Grouping. Step 4, Dinstar Outbound and Inbound Routing. Finally, Asterisk or VC Dial Carrier Settings and Dial Plan. Step 1, Dinstar Network Settings. The factory default IP address configured in Dinstar GSM Gateway is 192.168.11.1, and the default username is admin and password is admin. First thing we need to change the Dinstar default IP address to your network IP address. There are a couple of ways to change the IP address. First option is, connecting the Dinstar gateway to your LAN, or connect directly to your PC via LAN cable, and assign a static IP of 192.168.11.2 to your PC. Follow to that you can access the admin portal of Dinstar by browsing the Dinstar IP. Option 2, you can connect your Dinstar gateway to your PC via serial cable and access the console using PuTTY. Option 3, feature code method, that is, you can change the network settings, by dialing one your GSM number attached to the GSM gateway, and enter these DTMF feature codes to assign the IP address, subnet and gateway. The best and easy method is the option 1, we will connect our PC with same subnet of Dinstar gateway in a LAN network, and access the admin portal with Dinstar default IP address. Let's start the configuration of my GSM gateway. Using your favorite browser, browse your Dinstar default IP. Then log in with the default credentials, that is admin and password admin. Once logged in, you will see prompt with password change of admin user. Best practice change it, or leave the default. Next navigate to the network configuration menu, and select local network option. Now change the default IP address to the new IP address as per your network subnet. In my case it's 192.168.29.123. Now before saving the new configuration, make sure to select this option, take effect immediately. If not selected you have to restart the device once to take effect the changes. Once configuration saved, access your DINSTAR gateway with a new IP address. In my case it's 192.168.29.123. Now log in with your admin credentials. Once logged in, make sure network settings are correct as per your network setup. Let's proceed with the step 2. Step 2, DINSTAR SIP server and SIP trunk settings. Before proceeding with the configuration, we need to know the IP address of asterisk or VC dial server, and the SIP port. By default it's 5060, if changed need to set same in DINSTAR. Let's jump to my DINSTAR and start configure the SIP server and SIP trunk configuration. Now in DINSTAR admin portal, under call configuration menu select SIP configuration settings. Under SIP server address field, enter your asterisk server IP address. Also enter the same asterisk server IP under outbound proxy address. Rest all other settings, keep it default and save the settings. Note for every new settings in DINSTAR you need to restart the device once. Let's finish the SIP trunk configuration also and restart the device altogether. Now again in call configuration menu, select SIP trunk configuration. Now click, add button. Select an index number from drop down and enter the SIP server IP, port and give a description name. Then press OK button. Now we need to restart the device to take effect the new settings. Under Tools menu, select Restart to restart the device. Let's proceed with Step 3. Step 3, DINSTAR Port Grouping. In this Step 3, we are going to group all the SIMs together as single channel, and dial through all SIMs in random. Let's jump to my DINSTAR configuration. Now in DINSTAR, under Call Configuration select the Port Group Configuration. Leave default group untouched or delete it, then click the Add button. 
Now select an index from the drop-down. Next enter a description name. Leave empty for SIP user ID, authenticate ID, and authenticate password. Now in VoIP hotline, enter a number, which we will using as a DID and asterisk to receive incoming call. Next under register 2, select the SIP trunk which we configured in step 2. Finally select all the ports, which we need to group together. For me, I have only 4 ports connected with GSM. Let's proceed with next steps. Step 4, DINSTAR outbound and inbound routing. In DINSTAR, the outbound is mentioned as IP to TEL routing, and inbound is mentioned as TEL to IP routing. Let's jump to my DINSTAR configuration and configure the routings. Now in call configuration menu, select IP to TEL routing. Leave default one, just click the add button. Now select an index from the dropdown. Let's select number one. Next enter a description name. Next under source select the SIP trunk which we configured in step 2. Next in the destination select the port group, which we configured in step 3. Rest all other settings keep it as default, and click the save button. Next inbound routing, select the tel to ip routing menu. Leave the default one and click the add button. Now for index select a number from drop down. Let's select one. Next enter a description. Let's say inbound. Next under source select the port group, which is configured in step 3. Next under destination, select the SIP trunk which we configured in step 2. Rest all other settings keep it default and press the save now button. Now start configuration is completed. Let's move to next steps. Step 5, Asterisk Carrier or SIP Trunk Settings. I am going to use a simple SIP Trunk Settings. Create a context named as DINSTAR within curly brackets, followed to that add. Host equals 192.168.29.123, which is our DINSTAR IP address. Type equals friend, context equals trunk inbound, this is the context where you will receive incoming call, for free PBX use from PSTN or change according to your requirement. Then disallow equals all. Allow equals you law, a law, GSM, finally in secure equals port. Note, add these settings in sip.canf or in VC dial admin, carriers or in free PBX connectivity, trunks. Next we need to create the dial plan. If you are using VC dial, then use this dial plan as show here. I have provided same in this video description. Note, make sure to enter right sip trunk name, which we have created in previous step. As per this dial plan, it will accept any digit with prefix 9, and while dialing the prefix 9 will be discarded. Similarly you can use the same dial plan logic, if you are using plain asterisk. As show here. For free PBX, you can use the admin interface to set the outbound and inbound route. No need to write the dial plan. I am using VC dial, so let me know demonstrate the step 5 in my VC dial server. Log into your VC dial admin portal. Under Admin menu select Carriers. Click Add Carriers. Enter a name for Carrier ID and Carrier Name. Next under Account Entry, add our SIP trunk settings which I have shown in previous slides. Now under dial plan entry, 
Add the dial plan which I have shown in previous slides also provided in this video description. Now press submit to save the configuration. Now you need to activate this carrier by setting active to yes and press submit. Next under asterisk console, make sure the trunk is registered as show here. We all set now, let's test some outbound and inbound calls from agent interface. First I am going to check my incoming call. Let me dial one of my GSM number which is attached to this DINSTAR gate here. My call lands to agent, I am able to speak and it's crystal clear. Let's hang up this call and give a disposition. Now let's test the outbound calls. I am going to dial the same number from call log. Oops by bad, the line is busy, let's hang up and dial again. I am going to dial again the same number for my call log. Well it's connect now, I am able to speak to him and it's really a crystal clear voice. Thanks for watching. Catch you yet another video.